That's why this year, I think that we can become a certified project learning tree green school. Yes, Carmen. But how do we find all the data we need? Well, let's use the green school's energy investigation. Okay, so I remember how to use this, but I forgot what it measures. Yeah, I get the temperature is basically measuring heat, but what's relative humidity? Mr. Mr. Jackson! Jackson. <laughs> Having trouble getting started? Well, we just need to know what relative humidity is again. Well, <clears throat> relative humidity is the ratio of partial pressure of water vapor to the equilibrium of vapor pressure of water at the same temperature. Uh, what now? <laughs> Basically, it's the percentage of pressure that water vapor creates in the air. Oh, so it's like in comparison of how much humidity there is versus how much there could be. Exactly. Makes sense. But do you need to use that crazy formula to measure relative humidity? No. Measuring it is actually pretty easy. All you need is a temperature and relative humidity probe. Thanks. Okay, that part I remember. Just measure with the device for about five seconds to get an accurate reading. This probe gives me two numbers. Right, temperature and relative humidity. Yep. The smaller number on the bottom is the temperature. A comfortable range for most people is about 68 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Sure. And the larger number above the temperature is the percentage of relative humidity. And a comfortable range for most people is about 20 to 60 percent. Okay, and we want to be comfortable so that students' teachers can concentrate on their work. Right. Well, in fact, the federal government even mandates that all school buildings must be kept at 45% humidity or lower to prevent mold and mildew. What does it mean if it's higher? Well, if the humidity is really high, then there might actually be a leak in the pipes or the roof. Looking for mold, mildew, and a leak is a good way to keep everyone safe and to save money. That probe is really useful. <laughs> yep. You can even use it to see if windows and doors are letting in too much humidity. Okay, let's try it. There are so many pipes and windows in the building. We could be busy collecting data for weeks. I know, right? But at least our energy investigation packet has a place to record all of our readings. And let's try to do as many as we can. Sounds good. Okay, Zoe and Miranda. What do you think we can do with the temperature and relative humidity probe? We can make sure humidity is at a comfortable level. And the temperatures and humidity aren't over the legal limits. We can also check doors and windows to make sure they're insulated well. The probe can also show us if there's a high chance of mold or mildew around the school. Yuck. Mildew? How about mildew? right? <clears throat> anyway, pawns aside. Nice work, ladies. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs>